I'm also going to show you guys like one really big secret that not many people do that's going to help you find not only people who are um, qualified and like have the same interests that your ideal candidate does, but are looking for jobs as well. What's going on YouTube? It's Aaron here. In this video today, we're going to talk all about targeting when it comes to finding new employees using Facebook ads. So I'm going to talk about all the different targeting features there are. So that way you can have a really good idea and you know the best way to target uh, employees, uh, your future employees, of course, right here on Facebook. So let's get right into it. So if you don't know me, my name is Aaron Bogle. I am a digital marketer. And while I do run Google and Facebook ads to help people get new customers, I also run Google and Facebook ads to help people find new employees for their business. If you like this kind of stuff, leave a like and subscribe. You can always change your mind later if you really want to. And if you just want my help personally, um, when it comes to running ads, aka just doing this for you, um, you know, I have a lot of good testimonials and, you know, I've been able to help a good amount of businesses find employees pretty fast. There will be information in the description of how you can reach me. So anyway, let's get right into how to tar the targeting parameters right on Facebook. So what we want to do is just create a new campaign. I'm not going to go into detail about the campaign objective and what to choose. I already have a video where I do a full like length uh, thing and creating a new ad and stuff like that. So um, if you want to watch that, um, watch it after this video. I'll have it as, as the end card as well. But this video is just going to go so much detail into targeting than the other video did. So overall, we're just going to choose leads. We're going to click continue. And then you, what you just want to do is manual lead uh, campaign. And then it's going to take you here to the uh, campaign. So the campaign name, you always want to name it something you'll remember. So we're going to name it subscribe. And um, then what we want to do is go to the ad set name. I always name the ad set name as well, so we'll name it and like uh, what you should do for the video. Before we get into the targeting, you have to make sure that the special ad category is employment. Um, if, if you try to get around it, if you try to, like, you know, I'm not going to tell Facebook this, Facebook's going to see your ad and know it's for employment and force you to do this anyway. So you're going to choose employment, and then you got to select the country you're running it in, and we're going to use the United States. So then we can go on to the ad set. So the reason why we, we have to do this is because ever since, um, you know, Cambridge Analytical Scandal and a whole bunch of other like privacy laws and stuff, Facebook uh, is kind of forced to restrict the, some of the targeting that uh, we're able to use. And there are some, um, you know, parameters that are preset to prevent discrimination. So let me show you, for example. So... Um, you can't target with postal code or zip code, so the location um, has to be within a 15 mile radius of any selected city. This is because we don't, they're not going to allow you to discriminate based off of someone's location. So that way, you know, you're not targeting people based off, you know, who live in a higher income or lower income area, vice versa. And um, they, they also won't allow you to change the age here. Um, because, you know, that's age discrimination as well. And then with the genders, they, you have to select both men and women. So what I find with this is that this does not really affect the quality of the applicant overall. And usually the kind of like the demographics that you end up wanting do apply for your, uh, for, for the job posting and stuff like that. But even like as like an employer, you have to be following these anti-discrimination laws anyway, so um, these should just these just help you do that as well. However, just because we're kind of restricted on the targeting doesn't mean that we're completely out for the count. So of course, you want to select your location. So when it comes to uh, the amount of people in the location, you want to target. You want to target pretty much as many people as you can. But to a limit, so I would say if you're just a local company trying to find people in the local area, I would say um, you want at least 1 million people if that's possible. If that is not possible, then, um, you know, that's fine. You can still run ads very well. But just keep in mind that the results may come in slower because you're not targeting as many people. So let's say, for example, we're going to target, you know, back in my home state, um, New Jersey. 
Uh, but let's say we're going to target uh, Morse County, New Jersey, because that's nearby when I used to live. And um, we can see here, you know, we're kind of under half a million. And it's saying the estimated daily results is um, 2 to 13 leads. So I don't depend on this or I, you know, I don't like use this as like a gauge overall. So even if it said like, even for you, if it says like, oh, you're going to get zero leads with this ad set, don't worry about it. You're not going to get zero leads. Um, but this can give you a rough idea of how much reach you can expect to get. So um, if you're going to look at anything in this menu, look at the reach. It will give you a lot more realistic information than the amount of leads since that depends on a lot more factors, but usually, especially with like a $20 a day budget, you can get a good amount of applicants coming in, you know, depending on the job and everything, stuff like that, right? Okay, so we have the location set up. And also, um, if you do have a custom audience, so let's say if you have a list of employees that you already, that have already worked for you, you have their name and email address and all that stuff. So what you can do is you can use that uh, custom audience here you can upload their names and emails address as a custom audience and then make what's called a lookalike audience which looks a lot which looks alike the employees that uh, you already have thus um, you can find more people that are in your area that are similar to the employees that you already have if you do do that method I would not recommend going into the detailed targeting let's go into that now the detail targeting area right so you have to click on edit here in order to do anything um and remember you know because of you know anti-discriminatory laws and stuff like that some detailed options which may include demographics behaviors or interests are unavailable excluding any detail targeting targeting selections is unavailable so this means that we're not going to get as much um targeting parameters as you would if you're trying to get customers but this kind of makes our job a little bit easier because there's not much, there's not as much choice when it comes to everything, right? So what you want to do is you want to, um, if you have an idea of what your job is, um, of course you should. Um, you can just type it in and see if it's an interest. So for example, if you're looking for a plumber, you can look up plumber and then see what comes up. You know, plumbing construction, you know, that's a good interest. And then from there, you can go to suggestions and then see what else makes sense. So I may not want to do home improvement because that may, you know, get a lot of, you know, people who are, you know, maybe into home improvement magazines and stuff like that, but not really, um, you know, home improvement like workers. I would choose more, you know, home renovation. Um, but of course, you want to you want to think of, OK, what would my ideal employee kind of be interested in or what fields that are offered within the Facebook targeting interests that will fit my employee that will fit my ideal candidate overall and um, I'm also going to show you guys like one really big secret that not many people do that's going to help you find not only people who are um, qualified and like have the same interests that your ideal candidate does but are looking for jobs as well. Um, so that's going to come shortly. So what you want to do is you want to click browse and then you want to go into the interest and then you want to scroll down these interests and see, okay, which one of these interests kind of fit what I'm looking for in an ideal candidate, right? So, you know, you just want to scroll through these interests and see, okay, which one of these interests, you know, kind of fit my prer uh, prerogative, right? So um, you could do here is you keep scrolling. So let's say you do that because I'm not going to waste your time and do that. So how do we find employees that are not only ideal, <clears throat> our ideal employees, but they are looking for a job as well? So here's how you do it. What you want to do is you want to click on narrow audiences. And what this is going to do is it's going to say must also match. So what this does is that we're going to pair interests that are related to construction, plumbing, renovation, and all that stuff with interests of job searching, right? So for example, um, if we type in job hunting, job hunting here, and then we can get more ideas, careers, employment, application for employment. So now we can see here we are, you know, kind of fun funneling our audience even more. So it's not only people who are interested in all this stuff 
but people who are interested in finding jobs as well. And you can see here, there's a lot of different uh, job categories as well. So depending on how many people are in your audience. So if you're targeting like a big area, I would recommend making, you know, separate ad sets and, tar tr and trying out different uh, interests as well. But if you're in like a small area, if you're under that million mark, you just want to kind of populate this so it's as big as possible. So in my case, I would put in home construction, um, building material because it has like equipment and stuff like that, you know, and I would keep building this up until um, it gets to def until as much as you can. But you don't want to sacrifice the quality of it. So you want to keep the quality of it as good as possible uh, when it comes to targeting uh, for, for uh, your job recruitment stuff. So this is where I do spend the most time, and um, but overall still won't take too long uh, if you do it like this. And then also what's important is the, the language. People who can speak Spanish or English, make sure you can put that here um, because sometimes you are going to get people from other languages as well. If you can take them, that's great. If not, that's, that's all right. And then with placements, um, usually I just leave it on um, advantage plus placements um, because it usually does a good job doing that um, but if you really want to control where it goes you can just do manual placement and uh, take out audience network or um, if you just want it on Facebook or Instagram that's fine and they can just say okay here's where I want it so you definitely want it in feeds um, I would have it on story as well because if someone's scrolling through a story and they say, oh, look, a new job opportunity, that's also good. Um, you know, search and then, you know, message. Um, that's only if you're running a messenger campaign. Apps and site, you know, it's fine. But I would just use the automatic for now. And um, there you have it. So, yeah, um, I, want, I didn't want this video to be too long, but that's everything how to, you know, target uh, with the Facebook ads for job recruitment, that's all it is really for targeting. Um, but what's really like a really good key is just doing this must also match area. And that way you can find people who are interested in looking for a job that have the traits of your ideal candidate. In another video, I'm going to talk about how to create the perfect ad, but um, an updated one. But for now, um, the, the video that I posted, you know, before is still getting a lot of views and it's still, um, you know, it's still helping a lot of different people. So you can watch that video if you want to learn uh, this full step by step way to do Facebook ads for job recruitment. I'll see you guys in that video.